Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Indie Idols and today we are starting a new series with Paranautical Activity. I have not played this game in a very, very long time. I'm pretty sure that will show my gameplay. Now if I die in the first three minutes, I'm just going to start up a new game and then I'll die in probably another three minutes, just so I could kind of get used to the game, get better, and so you guys have something to watch at least. I don't want to just give you guys three minutes and be like, well guys, that's it for this episode. Watch it next time where we blast monsters in the face. So, if you haven't played this game, it's a lot like Ziggurat, like I play on my channel, except it replaces the carrots and wands with guns and monsters. And that's really the biggest difference there. And there's also stores and things and different power-up system, but for the most part, it's pretty similar. So let's go ahead, start. Let's play as... God, I don't even know what these two weapons are. Like, it's been a long time. I know the shotgun was always easy. So let's just try this character, the tank. I'm gonna need that for. I've already played this game a couple times off cha uh, camera, and I've got to. Uh, I don't know, probably the second room, and I died. It's pretty embarrassing, so I didn't want to have to upload that. Let's go ahead and see what the store has. It's under the stairs, apparently. All right, so we have the Gilead Gilead's gun, uh, lead and chainsaw. I have no idea what any of these things do, so let's just keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. You know, I'm not sure how I feel about that saying. It makes me sound very, uh, country, I guess would be the word. Alright, we're... We haven't ran into the boss room yet. Actually, it looks like we have. He's over there on the other side. Okay, th so this is already going a lot better than my other playthroughs. Uh, I'm actually making it past the second room. Looks like this character is the best beginning character, and I already blew myself up with a bomb. <laughs> well, this was going well, and I go ahead and jinx it. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, I hope to at least make it to the second stage. I want you guys to have something to watch other than me uh, getting killed by these little hoodlums. That's what I'll call them, because they have hoods. Their names will be hoodlums, and this is Demon Father. Or... I know they actually have real names, I'm pretty sure he's a Galeed, or maybe that's something else. I don't know, it's been a long, long time. This was always the easiest boss, I think, or maybe it was the hardest, I don't remember. I remember something about this boss. He's been around for a long time. And I always remember jumping meadow was the, was the best thing. Alright, so we finally got past something that wasn't a room with uh, these little hoodlums in it. So, I mean, that is a step up from what I've done off camera. Alright, we have an item. Naval training. Damage and fire rate up. That sounds pretty epic. I mean, that could be like the worst item in the game for all I know, but it sounds pretty good to me. So, I think we have a secondary weapon, but I'm not sure how to switch to it. You know, if you guys want to give me some tips in the comments, uh, actually, Suffice is the one who wanted to see this game, and I thought, well, I bought it on Deserja, or however it's pronounced, two years ago. So I was like, you know what? Might as well play it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully I'm giving some decent commentary at least. And, you know, like it, subscribe for more, and just anything to help me out. Looks like we're actually going to make it to the boss. I'm surprised since my last two runs were uh, <laughs> to the second room and dying. Alright, we're actually on the boss. Hopefully we can survive. And it is the well. I remember this boss. He uh, drops blubber, which slows me down even more. Which I'm not sure if I want that. I'll be a really big tank then, though. Can we bomb him a bit? Uh, I think I almost just bombed myself. I'm really bad at this game, guys. I apologize. Uh, I'll get better over time with your tips and, you know, just playing over time, so... That's the good thing. God, I really need a drink of water, so after this boss, I'm gonna take a sip, and then we'll get right back into this. Alright. These moth guys were always the death of me. Alright, I'm gonna take a sip of water real quick. Alright, I'm back. So we're at full health, we're on to the next floor. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I have 15 health. But I'm as slow as a guy carrying a hundred bricks, so <laughs> let's just see how far we get. Okay, this is terrible. Oh, we are so dead. Well, we already lost our armor. And... 
It looks like Blubber would have been better not to take. I'm not even able to dodge anything. What is... I don't know how to use a power-up. Oh, what is attacking me? Oh, this is Shark. So we're down to 9 health already. Yeah, Blubber was not a good pickup. Uh, well, I mean, you live and you learn, you know? And this is the furthest I've been so far, so that's a good thing. Kind of pathetic to say, but it's still a good thing. Alright, let's check out this gift shop. See what we find. Alright, we have converter, mystery box, and sand check. Well, let's just buy the mystery box. We got a chainsaw. Hands chainsaw. Boom. I have no idea what that does. Uh, let's take on this mini boss. It'll only take, you know, a decade to get to the room. Now, this guy killed me. Uh, twice already, so let's try not to die this time. But me being as slow as the guy who has the Genesis record for uh, pulling an airplane, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, it does look like we survived, and all we have now is this moth, some armor and health. See that, guys? That's what we needed. And we have rage, damage up for killing enemies. That seems like it's from Bindings of Isaacs. Which is another game I would love to play, but there's just so many people doing it. I mean, it's, I'm like a little guppy in the ocean if I play that game. Maybe one day I'll play it. Alright, and we ha oh, this guy is so terrible. I, I think this is our death, guys. Okay, so it looks like that chainsaw thing does the same thing that the Nazi boss does whenever his chainsaws rise from the floor. Oh, we're at one health. This might be the end of us. And it looks like we made it. Alright. We're going to the third floor. With three health and two armor. And still very, very, very slow. So it looks like there's eight floors in total. Beat the second floor. Alright, we got an achievement there. We unlocked the Necromancer boss. Which sounds very terrifying. <sighs> but I highly doubt we're going to make it past this room, guys. Especially with all these new enemies that we got. Not this room, this floor. Hopefully we make it past this room. Well, <laughs> That still seems to be unseen. Alright, we did it. So let's go to the next room. Let's go ahead and take on the mini boss. I know we only have three health, but the mini bosses are always usually easier. Oh, this is the jellyfish. He is super easy. I, if I die to him, you guys could insult me in the comments. Just say I'm the worst at this game and that I should probably never play again. <laughs> See, guys, he is the easiest mini boss in this game. Alright, and we have full ammo, which I, I, I still don't know how to use that secondary weapon, but if you guys want to help me in the comments, that'd be great. I don't think we're going to make it past this floor, I mean this room, actually. But it looks like we still might, I mean, I'm very impressed with myself so far, especially since on the first playthrough I made it to uh, the second room, not even the second floor, so... This is a very big upgrade to me. Some more little hoodlums, and we're moving on. Very, very slowly. Those turtles in the sky move faster than me, and they're turtles, so this is pretty sad. Oh guys, this does look like our death, and it is. Ah, I mean, that was a good start, but you know, every end starts a new beginning. So I'll see you guys next time. Like the video if you liked it, and make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.